We have really enjoyed being with you this week, and y'all been great. We had a great crowd come out tonight to more than we usually get to come out and uh, work on uh, uh, names and visitation sheets. Uh, tonight I want to give you a sample of what a table looks like, and I would encourage you to, if you can find a good place in the foyer to put like a six-foot table, it would be very beneficial to you. Why? Because everything that we've gone through will be in folders, all of your contacts, whether you're writing cards to them, whether you're texting them, whether you get a personal visit with them, and depending on who they are and what you're doing, some of you will be delivering uh, the power for today to some people. Uh, what you do is uh, will be in these, uh, in these folders, and if you have a six-foot table in the back uh, and a couple of ladies that will volunteer to work it, or at least one lady that will help uh, Otis Sally, did I get that right, Otis Sally? Is there any ladies here that will help her, work with her? Okay, we got four ladies here that will help you. So y'all can take turns or whatever and just get you a table back there. Uh, you can get one at Walmart for about 59 bucks. One of those plastic ones, real easy to, you might have some here. And, uh, and but you're gonna have to keep up the names. The more you work this, the more you'll grow. Now, how long does it take it for a, a once you plant seed in the ground, Alvin, how long does it take for it to come up? Ten days. Ten days. And how long does it take before it grows to maturity? Ninety days. Ninety days. And how long is it before it before it bears fruit? Uh, it bears fruit in about two weeks. Okay, so about ninety days. The comparison I'm trying to say is, this isn't going to happen overnight. But if you'll get started and you'll start making the efforts and writing the cards and making the visits and things like that, you will get results. And you have, you have, them, uh, you have them out every time you go door knocking. You said that y'all go door knocking some. You want to keep a card on every door that you go to. Believe me, that's a very good thing because you have some that well, you, they're not at home when you go there. And then you have others maybe that seem interested and so they say, well, I'm going to come and I'm going to see you. Well, if they have any interest at all, you definitely want to put them in here and follow back on them and send them a thank you card. If you go out and knock a door and they talk to you at all, you need to get their name and send them a thank you card for, for talking to you. That's not hard to do, is it? It'll make a world of difference. And of course, you know the big thing that I talked about the other day, the birthdays. Everybody loves to get a birthday card. So remember these things and work them and work them well. If you do it, then you will grow. I know some people just halfway do it and they grow. Now, your table will look like this. You'll have the habanero. Oh, I got the wrong thing. Okay, here it is. You'll have the habanero visitation log, and it's in your book. And so when you get a sheet out of one of these places, then you'll want to uh, write the person you're visiting or writing to, your name, and the date that you took it. What's going to be on your visitation sheets is the last date that they came here. So it may be in the, I saw some of them 2090, I mean 1992, maybe, I don't know. Did I see one from 1950? Maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> and then the whoop sheets that I will, uh, will, will, will make up and put on the yellow 65 pound tag. And she'll cut them in half but you'll want to personalize them, they'll be out on the sheet here for you to sign after every 
after every um, time you meet, you'll want to get uh, something to, to go there. Um, then, here's an example of gifts you can take them. When you go out and visit someone, you want to take them a gift. So since you came tonight, I'm going to give you a gift. So when I hold up a gift and talk about it, if you want it, raise your hand. Okay? Now, doesn't this look nice? Doesn't that look pretty? I mean, I'd hang that up in my bathroom. It looks so pretty. So who would like, who would like to take this home? You want to think it's pretty enough to take home? That's the verse that we gave out. Anybody want it? Nobody wants it? Oh, you want it? Okay. Now, I missed the announcement. Who was taken to the hospital? Oh, he's in Brownsville. Okay. Well, that's wonderful. Well, somebody might want to go visit him and take him a gift. Now, let me talk to you about, these are my favorite gifts. Because these contain what? Cookies and cakes and brownies. And these will be the most popular gifts. Yeah, everything that I bought is from Dollar Tree or a dollar store. So I want to show you the nice things you can get from a Dollar Tree. Most people think it's just a bunch of junk. Well, not really. And if you'll, go, if you'll have somebody in charge of gifts, you can go around, you can find some good stuff from time to time. And do any of y'all like to go to garage sales? Anybody? Okay. Now, y'all need to be on the garage sale committee because... Go out there, take you about five bucks, and, um, and look for things that are unopened or unused, and there's plenty of them. Sometimes you go to garage sale, you won't find any, but find something that's really nice and unused, or a picture frame. Usually they'll sell the picture frames for a quarter, Beat, beats paying a dollar for it, and so... Uh, if you think it's nice and it can work as a gift, then get it. I bought a lot of stuff at garage sales, brand new board games, uh, all kinds of stuff, uh, sometimes uh, antiques and all kinds of different things. But these are, there's three in this and four in this, and these are the best things out there and they just cost a dollar a piece. And the, the reason is, it's because they're, aluminum and they have an aluminum top they're not a plate of, they're not a paper plate of cookies with a saran wrap over it those look nasty and in this day and age you want to make sure that you have something that's not going to give you a disease so usually putting them in here are good and you can take them home and you can bake cookies or you can bake a cake i think a, a cake two and a half of these will of these will, uh, one cake will go into two and a half of these. Uh, one set of brownies will go into two of these, or one of these. And then corkers, cookies, you know, you can make a bunch of cookies. Homemade stuff is the best. Don't you agree? Yeah. And who's going to turn them down? They're going to say, no, I don't want homemade cookies. I hate them. Really. Okay, well, who would like to take this home and fill it up? Does anybody like to bake? Okay, there you go. And there you go, all right. Now we're getting somewhere. They're warming up to me. It took me five days. <laughs> Good for y'all. Okay, how about that for a, for a coffee cup? <laughs> That's the crooked one. Love does the strangest things. Anybody like that? Okay, there you go. Now, this would be for a kid. 
And it's pretty impressive that I got it at a dollar store the other day. Hasn't been opened. But this is a shake smile that kids can play with and put stuff in. It's called shake slime. <laughs> kids love this kind of stuff. Looks like a $10 box, doesn't it? But got it for a dollar. Oh, leave me alone. <laughs> That's my youngest son. Uh, who, would who would like to take this? Okay, know somebody with a child, grandchild, great-grandchild? There you go. No. Uh, yeah. Let your dreams be blessed. Isn't that a pretty box? And guess what it's got inside? A whole package of butterscotch candy. Who'd like that? Would you take this if somebody came to your door and gave it to you? Or would you say, no, I don't like gifts? Anybody? There we go. Okay. There you go. Doesn't it make you feel good to get a gift? Now this costs $2. $1 for the tub and $1 for the popcorn things. They often sell these at Dollar Tree. And if you want to add a bag of popcorn, sometimes they do have popcorn at Dollar Tree. So who wants the pop who likes popcorn? Anybody? Okay, there we go. <laughs> now then, here here is something in this in this neat see I've got corn nuts in there, and if you pull the lever here, then uh, no, you press down on the lever. Yeah. Yeah, well, liquid corn nuts comes out of here. <laughs> so if you want to see if that'll work, who, who would like to try that out? I bet you'd like to try that out, wouldn't you? You like corn nuts, I know. <laughs> and then sometimes if you ladies are visiting a lady, you might want to take her something like this. Cinnamon something. <laughs> Cinnamon lotion, yeah. That's pretty nice, or you might want to use it on yourself. You know, anybody want some cinnamon lotion? Oh, come on, somebody. Won't you take the cinnamon lotion? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I twisted her arm. <laughs> Okay, and this is pyroline. They're cookies. Those are good. I bet some of y'all, there we go. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> All right. And then we've got, um, let's see what time is it. Uh, now let me talk about these. These, there are eight tissues in a box. And you can, what you can do is, is you can get a, some labels and put from the Bridge Avenue Church of Christ on the label and put it on the back. I've seen churches do that. So when a visitor comes in, you've got them in a basket during cold season and they can, they can get tissue, and they, they're very appreciative of it. And you get eight for a dollar. And it, is that a deal or what? So who has a runny nose? <laughs> Anybody have a runny nose? I bet you've got a runny nose, don't you? Here it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there it is. Okay, now... Uh, there's a, this has got a sweet tarts in it. 
and it's in a box. Isn't that a pretty box? Now one thing you want to do if you get it from Dollar Tree is pull the back off because they don't know you got it from Dollar Tree. They might think that you got it from Dillard's. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows the difference? <laughs> you know, Dillard's has beautiful boxes that look kind of like this and they got it probably from the same source. <laughs> See, I'm careful. So, who would like sweetheart? Alvin, you like sweetheart, don't you? <laughs> okay, here you go. And and who doesn't like Mrs. Freshly's delicious Swiss rolls? I bet there we go. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, they're all yours, sir. <laughs> Man, we're having a good we're having a good time here. Okay, now then, um, I've got how many know uh, how many have some neighbors that have babies or toddlers? You know anybody that has babies or toddlers? Yeah, this is for a baby, I guess. A teething ring, yeah. It, does anybody, I can't find the other one. Uh, well, anyway, there was another one. So who knows, who knows a neighbor that has a baby? Anybody? You know a neighbor that has a baby. Okay, there you go. I just thought of your name, your baby, and I just wanted to give you something. Who doesn't like Minnie Mouse? You know. Now uh, here is here is a a coffee cup that says "Pets turn a house into a home," and then you put inside here. This costs you two dollars, dollar a piece, and you put this inside, and that goes pretty good, doesn't it? You can be creative. Anybody want this? Okay, there we go. Now, everybody uses kitchen tiles, don't they? If you cook in the kitchen. And you also use hot pads, right? Yeah. And it says, today is full of possibilities. Isn't that pretty? So who would like this in their kitchen? There you go. <laughs> oh, you want to trade? <laughs> Here you go. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, well I'll tell you what, I've got another one. Doesn't have anything on it, but you can have it. How about that? <laughs> there you go. No, ma'am, you keep it. See, you got, you can put, you, if you put too much lotion on, then you got something to wipe it off with. <laughs> You're welcome. Now then, oh, here's, here's a, this for a boy. One for a girl, one for a boy. Okay, uh, how many of you like bird feeders? Anybody? Like bird, how many, bird, how many, there you go, okay. <laughs> See, she's been wanting one of <laughs> Now, if someone moves into town, a neighbor that moves next door, there's three of these, and this is just perfect to put some extra food into, you know, and just take them over there and say, I know you've moved in, and I know that you're trying to get your furniture all under control. So, so I brought you some green beans, some pinto beans, and some uh, lima beans. <laughs> you know, and if you need anything out and you need some more beans, you just call me. <laughs> so who would like this to work it over? Anybody? I know you would because <laughs> there you go. But isn't that a great deal? It's it's nice looking, it's sanitary, 
They're sterilized, they were sterilized in China. I mean, you know. Now this is bloom with grace. Isn't that pretty? Actually, it looked prettier out of the, the wrap, but hang on the wall. Who would like to bloom with grace? Anybody? Okay, Mark. I mean, Matt. I'm going to let you bloom with grace. Since y'all sit all the way back down here, and you get the sucker. <laughs> there you go, brother. <laughs> I just wanted to show you how these, how these gifts and how people react to these gifts and how much fun these gifts are. Now, who didn't get a gift? Who didn't get a gift? Oh, Bill didn't get a gift. Well, let's see here what I got for Bill. Huh? Some roach spray. Yeah, no, I don't have any of that, but I do happen to have this beautiful box with something inside of it. What? Not, not, not in this lifetime. Snickers. <laughs> okay, anybody else not get a gift? You didn't get a gift, okay. Let's see, what am I going to get for you? Okay, let's see here. Do you have any grandchildren? Do they live around here? How old are they? The youngest is 21. Well, let's see here. <clears throat> Is it a boy or a girl? You got any girl grandchildren? <laughs> boy, you're tough. <laughs> okay, well, you know something? Boys use their pockets to make notes with. And here's four of those for your grandson. You, you have four grandsons, you give one to each, yeah. And what you can do is, on back of each, you can write with a magic marker, go to church, love grandma. <laughs> okay, anybody else have a grandson, uh, like a younger grandson or a younger brother? You got a younger brother? Is that your younger brother? He is, huh? How old is he? Eighteen, nineteen? Okay, well when you gotta give your younger brother something, a yo yo is always the thing to do. <laughs> okay, now I've got some other things up here for kids and other people. Did everybody get something? Well, good. <coughs> Excuse me. We, we went back and got some more because we want to make sure that if enough people showed up today, why, well, you'd be in good shape. So uh, I'll put the rest up here. Now then, what I want you to do is we're going to vote. <coughs> Where are these stickers? Oh, you did. Clear patent plastic thing. Huh? Okay. Did you? Oh, by the way, while we're fooling around, we would love your name, your email address, and your phone number if you would like to get the home mission report every month. So we'll just pass it around. We'll start with Carrie, and he can pass it around. <laughs> I 
There you go. There you go. Now you're catching on. You have uh, some. Uh, I have no idea where they are. Oh, you did, huh? I wonder if they're in the back. Why don't you go look in the back? Go look in the back and see if you can find them, please. Okay, now, I'm going to go over these with you. These are things that you suggested on Sunday evening. Or maybe I suggested some of them. And we talked about them. You're going to get four stickers to vote with. Actually, you're going to get five. One of them you won't vote with, and, and it's green. And the green one goes on the team, which team you want to be on for habanero, visitation or card writing team. Uh, but the other four colors doesn't make any difference, but you get to use those to vote to see what you want to do. Now, we talked about having a Friends Day, and I've got information on that I can send Carrie this is very good for evangelism and for getting uh, people to come. I can't believe we've lost that. <clears throat> uh, anyway, uh, what is, oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, okay. Brother Jesse, would you mind helping me please, sir? Would you mind passing off one of one to each person? Thank you. Now the red, yellow, and orange, they're the ones you vote with. But the green, the green is the one we want you to, to sign on the habanero team with. And if you would, take your pen or something and write your name on it, please. Anybody need a pen or a pencil or anything like that? Here's a pencil. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, write your name on all of them. Okay, so we talked about uh, we talked about uh, a fr having a friend's day. It would be like one Sunday out of the year, and you would uh, get cards to make up for friend's day. We can give you some patterns, and then uh, you can make them up, and you want to order about 5,000 of them or at least 3,000. Why so many? Because you'll want to band them up into tens and then be passing them out. And, it may, and you may have to give it to one person three or four times before they'll remember to come. And you, you're, you're filling up gas, you're going to the convenience store, you're going to Taco Bueno. Uh, do y'all have Taco Bueno here? You don't? Okay. You wish. <laughs> You're going to uh, uh, somewhere, you know, you see somebody, bank, even if you don't know them, you just give it to here. Take this and go redeem it at the church on, <laughs> you know, on what such and such date. Would you like to have a friend's day? Well, you'll just put your little vote thing on there. Would you like to have a door knocking campaign here? Not just what you're doing now, but have a group come up that's really good at door knocking and help you with it. That's another thing. Would you like the new life behavior materials? These are good for people who have drug abuse problems, who have a lack of self-esteem, who have uh, parenting problems, who have, it, there's a book on anger management, and uh, in order to have that, you have to, um, you have to go through it. It's, it's, the material comes out of um, King's Crossing Church of Christ in Corpus Christi, Texas. 
so it's not that far from you. And Brother Buck Griffith is over that. He's been doing this for years, but most of his these books have gone into the prisons. And tens of thousands of people have been baptized into Christ by using these books. But he and I have been talking, and we feel like these books need to be out in the public. We need to get them before they go to jail, don't we? And, and if you offer it to people and, let, and, and make it to where it's anonymous, then uh, you can reach some people you might have never reached, never reached. But you're going to have to be discreet about it. You'll have to put it on, uh, you'll probably have to put it on um, uh, maybe somebody's personal Facebook or, or put it on the city. Y'all have a city Facebook? Yeah. Uh, city Facebook. Also, you can, uh, uh, you can put it on a card and stick it in laundromats and things like that. Uh, you can also uh, put it in the paper, you know, in the want ads. Having problems with drugs or alcohol, free classes, we can help. Call this number. You don't tell who it is, you just tell them to call the number. They're free classes. The books only cost you about $6 a piece. You do have to be certified because the judge... Uh, instead of sending them to Alcoholics Anonymous, they can send them to you if you ask. And so you can get some of them from the judge that way. Uh, they're certified in 43 states. And uh, you'll have to be certified. One of us will have to come down, or we might just send Buck down, or one of his guys down, and he can go over it with you. Uh, but we have a special agreement with him it costs $80 for the church to be certified, and then 50, a one-time fee of $15 for every different course that you teach. Once you pay the $15, one-time $15, you can buy all the books that you need there, and the books are professional looking, and they cost uh, $6 a piece. That's their cost, versus $15 is what they sell them for. So once you're certified, you get that. So we don't charge, but we we don't charge for our stuff. But that is somebody else's material, and they have to at least recoup their cost. But they want to do it in ministry, and we've had it at some churches that have done that. One little old church in Oklahoma had two people be baptized from it. So it can it can work, and anybody can teach it. That's a beautiful thing. Anybody can teach it. So uh, we, we, we recommend a man teaching the CASA, Christians Against Substance Abuse, and a woman teaching a ladies group on self-esteem. And so it's called a, a matter of self, I think is what it's called. And a lot of women need that help today. They also have stuff for children too, yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's a great way to, you know, sometimes we beat our heads against the wall. How are we going to get people to come in here? You're going to have to meet needs. And this is the way you can meet a lot of needs. There's a lot of drunks now that used not to be that way until COVID hit. And they'd st stay at home. There's a lot of wife beatings. There's a lot of children being beat and abused. There's a lot of things going on like that. And you saw a lot of that. And there's a lot of young girls that are pregnant that need some help need somebody to talk to and work with that have no self-esteem whatsoever and they're, they're group study. You can study one one on one way. The beautiful thing about it, this is Church of Christ material and in the material it leads them toward being baptized because Christ is the answer. So instead of going to an AA meeting and hearing cussing and running around on their wives and all that nonsense, uh, they get to come and, and be in a Christian environment and be able, to, uh, be able to hear the gospel at least one time in their life. Okay, uh, so that's a, that's a possibility. Train and appoint elders. I mentioned to Carrie that I, we have a man that we recommend, Dr. Bob Turner, that comes down and he, and he uh, will do leadership training and he does it for free. 
just like us. You don't have to pay his expenses or any material that he had. So we highly recommend him. Have a table at the onion festival and give out free onions. <laughs> now what you would do is you would, you would, um, uh, you would get some Bibles and maybe some gifts and you'd have trivia, Bible trivia. You just get your signs, it's Bible trivia. And let, if they get three out of five, they get a, a gift, Bible, a gift. or you, Some of you are good at making up baskets. Uh, Faith Village in Wichita Falls has done this at the, uh, at the um, uh, Texoma Fair for 10 years. And uh, they give out stuff, and people just line up to do this. And they've had some Bible studies that have come from it. But it also gives good publicity to the church, and that's what you want. Instead of them thinking y'all are a bunch of old fuddy-duddies and you're negative and everything else, you go out here and you give gifts away, and their opinions change. What other church is going to be giving things away? Not too many. <laughs> Not too many. So... Uh, that's a good thing to do. And you, can get, and you don't have to spend a lot on these gifts. In fact, I know a store you can go to where all of it costs a dollar. <laughs> uh, having a fall or spring festival, that's where we talked about bringing up a, a, a barbecue or a grill and putting it out front, a big sign or something, or putting it in the back and put a big sign that says, uh, you know, fall festival in the back and give a couple of uh, uh, bouncy houses. You can rent those and get some games for them to play. And, uh, you know, you can, uh, uh, you can get a lot done. And, and if you can't do that yourself, maybe we can find another church, a larger church to come and help you. Uh, Work on advertising. We didn't talk about this much, but this is something you need to think about. When we were driving down Bridge Street, we saw, we saw an old sign in a lot for sale, and nothing's on it. I think some old stuff on it. A lot of times, people, owners of land like that, will let you put a sign with the condition if they sell it, then you take your sign down. I've seen people let us keep the sign up. You never know until you ask. And so if you can put signs out like that, sometimes, how does the city of Westlaco feel about bandit signs? How do you feel about bandit signs? You know what I'm talking about, Bill? Okay, bandit signs are 11 by 17 choroplast, and you'll put up things on it and then it's got some wire things at the bottom and you just put them out at uh, corners. Now, the, most cities don't care, but they don't want you leaving it out more than a month. That's usually the standard for most. And uh, so you can check into what the city says. They're gonna tell you, well, you're not really supposed to put them out, but everybody does anyway, just don't leave them out too long. That's pretty much what the city will tell you in most places. That gives you some free advertising. Yeah. Another thing you can do is, um, this church in Iowa did it. They made up those signs, but only bigger, a double 11 by 17. And it said, we love the West Side Church of Christ. And then put an email address in the bottom. And they put it in their yards. And they went and asked their fallen away members can we put our sign in your yard <laughs> yeah I guess so <laughs> they have to go see it every time <laughs> and they let them do it so uh, at Faith Village they put out a, they gave out a hundred signs says I love my church and then put their email address on it hundred signs were gone like that Ordered another one, they were gone. Another one, they were gone. Now they still want more. Yes, ma'am. We love our church, yeah. 
The only thing about bad bumper stickers that I'm a little cautious with, <laughs> uh, there was a, a lady one time that a police officer pulled her over. And she was throwing a fit because this car pulled out from under her, uh, in front of her. And she was just letting him have it. And so the police officer pulled her over not the guy that pulled in front of her. And uh, he, he handcuffed her, took her down to the station and let her fill out the sheets and let her sweat it out a little bit. And she says, what in the world? Are you crazy? Don't you have other people that are lawbreakers? Why did you arrest me? Oh, she just went on and on and on. Finally, he came back out from his office and said, well, ma'am, you have, I love Jesus and come with me to church and uh, a Christian cross and a, a fish sign on the back of your car and, and, and you were cussing this man out. I thought somebody had stolen your car. <laughs> so if you have a bumper sticker on the back of your car, you better be a, a good Christian. <laughs> and, and act that way. Um, also, too, uh, you might want to have a day where you work on the building. You know, maybe one day you want to get some, uh, you want to get some uh, deep polish or something and come up, say, like some um, English wood or what? what's that? Old English. And come up and just... Uh, well, you probably better get something else, something that doesn't, that won't come off on your hand. But you can come up one Sunday and or one Saturday, and you can uh, just, uh, you know, wipe all these off and kind of shine them up a little bit. Or you may want to come up and uh, uh, clean off some of the spots that are on the on the uh, chairs. Or you might want to come up and maybe one day you might want to come up and and uh, paint the side walls or something. Or you might want to come up and clean out the closet. And I'll, show, I'll tell you one good thing you can do. You can come up one day and you can maybe, it's time to reorganize your teacher's workshop. You know, now a lot of it's already organized, but a lot of things are piled up because you haven't had Bible classes. So you might want to have a work day to do that. Or you might have other things that you want to do. Uh, you know, mowing the, Man, you got a huge lot back there. I love it. You know how many churches would kill to have that big a lot back there? What all the things you could put soccer goals back there and and all kinds of things. Fix your fix your basketball goal. You know, if I come back and your basketball goal's fixed, I'll take you one on one in basketball. Okay. <laughs> You're not a basketball player. Uh, anyway. So, uh, but, uh, you know, th there's a lot of things that y'all might want to do and just make one big day for that. Uh, then up here, uh, we talked about having a blessing and prayer box together. The blessing box is where people can pick up food that need it. You have it out in front, but you also have a prayer box there where people can write uh, I need this prayed for. Sometimes they write their name and sometimes they don't. If they write their name, uh, you can have some form filled out. If you'd like for us to contact you and pray with you, please give us your phone number or email. And you might be able to pick up some prospects that way. If nothing else, pray to God on their behalf and who knows what God will lead them to do. But if you'll make a combination blessing prayer box or just a prayer box, that would that that set speaks volumes to your neighbors around here. You want to focus first of all on the people around your building. You got tons of people around your building. They need to know that you care. Uh, you might want to have. The, uh, there's some folks in Dallas that will set up a tent. They'll come down here and set up free if you pay their gas and put them up one night. 
and uh, uh, I think Faith Village is going to start doing that. You might want to just set up and have an, an old tent revival, old time tent revival, like in January. You know, it's fairly cool in January. I mean, it's not 100 degrees in January, is it here? Huh? Close? But you know, something like that. That's uh, people. What what is old and that people have never seen, you bring it out and it's new. And so if they see new things, I mean, a lot of us grew up seeing tent revivals and brush arbor meetings and stuff like that. Well, th you know, uh, my kids have never seen anything like that. And my kids are in their uh, late 30s or 40s. Uh, advertise the community garden. Uh, some way. Bring your kids and let them learn how to uh, let them learn how, how, how vegetables are planted and, and they can come away with some free uh, yes sir. There you go. There you go. Talk to the paper and see what they'll let you do. Most people don't get a paper anymore, but some do. And also you have a community, a lot of communities have a community link that they can advertise on. So it's check and see what you can do and uh, utilize that. And if nothing else, take the, you said cucumbers are coming out? Take you a basket of cucumbers to two or three people that have visited in the past or people that have, Fallen away, or people, or, or people that are that are not feeling well right now. Whatever, take take them the cucumbers. And then, here we talked about greeters and degreeters. You always need to have somebody in the back. Why? Greet people. What's a degreeter? Somebody going out the door. That's a degreeter. You always want somebody back there. There's another reason you always want somebody back there. You don't know who's going to walk through the door. Safety. Yes, sir. And so I want to strongly urge you to have greeters, degreeters. And I put a bowl of candy. Any of y'all notice the bowl of candy that was back there? Any of you get some candy out of there? Uh -huh. You know something, having a bowl of candy back there every Sunday and Wednesday is very good. Now, I know some people will fill their pockets with it, but that's okay. But uh, having it back there is very good, especially for family visits and they have a bunch of kids, you want to make sure you just load them up. <laughs> but having candy in the back is a way of saying, you know, you are so welcome here, and we're a family. I mean, at, 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 at my house, we're grandparents to, uh, we have four of our grandchildren close by. And we always, we don't drink them ourselves, but we have Dr. Peppers in the refrigerator. And, uh, and then we have what we call the stash. And that's a big bowl like that one in the back and it's got all kinds of candy in it. And uh, so they'll come in, what do you think they go for the first? The Dr. Pepper. And then we'll say, do you want some stash? You want something from the stash? And they'll go get some candy out of it. And then before they go home, take some more candy out of the stash. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> but, but you know, when, when kids come in and out there pre and not just kids, a bunch of y'all got candy out of that. And that's fine. That's great. You know, makes you feel good, doesn't it? Kept you awake tonight, didn't it? In fact, the matter is, I got so caught up in this, I didn't even go over the takeoff session. Oh, well. Uh, on the slides... Remember your 12 goals before you vote on them. Does everybody have a sticker now? We put them on these giant post-it notes for you. Write your name on each label. 
you vote for the top four goals you want for the church except the color green and that goes on these teams. Now, the red team are the people that handle the visitors. They go out within 72 hours. They either go out and personally visit them or they write cards to them within the first 72 hours, at least the first week. So this is the 911. This is the hottest habanero, the, the red one. They're the hottest prospect. Then the yellow team are the ones who set up Bible studies, and they have several listings under that, and they're the ones that go out and talk to people out, placing membership, setting up a Bible study. They follow up after the red team has already gone out. The green team are those that uh, they just deliver things. They don't have to talk to people at the door, but they also work with shut-ins. They'll go visit shut-ins and then they'll send cards to shut-ins. The, and also the green team, if you can get the, um, you can go through house to house, heart to heart, and they got a program to where uh, it's not very expensive. And uh, they'll send out their house to house, heart to heart to everybody that moves in that's new. And they'll send you the information, you can follow up on it. And then the blue team, they're your card writers. They write cards for every occasion. Birthdays, anniversaries, sympathy, get well. Uh, thinking of you, hadn't seen you since 1992, but I was just thinking of you the other day because somebody said I had to. Anyway, and, and I wanted to, you rode the bus in 1992. I would love to see you, I wanna see how big you are now. You know, it may never reach them, but, but it might. Who knows who's gonna walk through that door when you start working the town. And so, red team, yellow team, green team, blue team, which one do you want to be on? If you want to be on more than one, you can get another sticker. I'll give you another sticker. So, it's time, you have three minutes left. It's time to vote. So y'all come on down and knock yourself out. <clears throat> Here's your prizes y'all can start with. Huh? You can vote four, on four different things. Remember, there's another one up here, so. Remember the green labels go on which team you're going to be on. Yeah, you put your green sticker. Oh, <laughs> we don't have a blue sticker. <laughs> yeah, put your name on the green sticker. Come on up, lollipop man. <laughs> I bet you were back there licking that lollipop, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you want to take it home. <laughs> now we do have hand sewn items from Team Soap, but they're more for winter. The more for winter things. So we didn't bring them. I mean, you're coming into summer. And uh, the toboggans and scarves and pillow, the, the pillows are good. There's some blankets. And so we'll bring them when we come in the fall. So. 
you get it figured out, Jesse? Hmm? Hmm? Will you take a picture of those flower flowers on the pews? Eddie, I want everybody to see that. That makes me feel so good to come in here and see those things. That kind of reminds me of going to uh, to uh, Taco Cabana. Do y'all have a Taco Cabana here? Taco Cabana or something else? Oh. Oh, really? Okay, after you have uh, decided what, what things that you, where you want to go and what you want to vote on, uh, let's see who got the, what got the most votes. Greeters, de-greeters, a blessing prayer box, I got seven. Greeters and de-greeters got six. Advertise the garden got six. Have a table at the Onion Festival. That got a lot of votes. So did Fall or Spring Festival. And Friends Day got the most votes, it looks like. So your top four, your top four are Friends Day, the Onion Festival, uh, the Greeters and De-Greeters, and the Blessing Box. That's your top four. Now, you can work on any of the 12 that you want to, but that's your top four, and uh, we'll be, when I call, I'll call Carrie from time to time and check and see how you're doing on your top four. Yeah, yeah, if y'all could... Uh, I will. By the way, on each team, you'll kind of need a coordinator to talk about the things and to try to get more people involved. And we've already set up the table. Team So, we didn't bring this time. We'll bring it in the fall because Team So, a lot of it is for winter stuff. But these ladies at Faith Village hand sew handmade stuff they're really nice so we'll bring them when we come back in the fall and set up meeting days and times to meet with your team and ask God to bless our efforts for his glory yeah Oh, did she? She already gone? Is that yours or mine?
For this time that we got together, thank you so much for all these precious souls, Father, that love you with all their heart and soul. Help everyone, Father, to truly work together. Father, as Carrie said, sometimes all these things that they come on us at once are kind of like drinking from a fire hydrant. But life is that way. And we pray, Father, that we'll all work together one day at a time, one project at a time, and that we'll do the best that we can because only you can give the increase. More importantly, Father, we want to do your will. And in so doing, in all the good things that happen, may we give you the glory. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you, and may God bless you.